Hello again gamers, welcome back to the Board Game Captain. I'm the Captain and today I am reviewing this Pathfinder Flip Mat Bigger Island. I just, I love, uh, it, it is what it says it is. It's a bigger island. But what does that mean? We're going to get into that in just a moment. I do want to start by giving a big thank you to Paizo for sending me the new flip mat for Bigger Island um, to check out and review. And also, I'd like to say I've got a ton of links in the description down below uh, that you can check out at your leisure. There's a link to BoardGameCaptain.com, which is a great hub for all things Board Game Captain. And also, Lynn and I have started doing some semi-regular blog posts over there. There's also a link to my Teespring store, uh, which you can go get cool Board Game Captain merchandise, some cool gamer gear over at my Teespring store. And there is a link to to my Patreon. If you're in a position to and would like to support the channel, you can head over to my Patreon. Link in the description down below. Okay, so I'm going to read the uh, read the, the package first for the Pathfinder. Flip mat, bigger island. Wet, dry, and permanent erase markers erase from the mat. 27 inches by 39 inches mat, one inch squares on each side. Islands of mystery. Whether those shores are the location of a of hidden treasure or the new home of maroon survivors, the Pathfinder flip mat bigger island has you covered with an area that's forty five percent larger than the standard flip mat. Game masters can dream even bigger. Now, instead of sketching. You can devote more time to play with Pathfinder Flip Mat Bigger Island. You'll be ready next time your players seek out or are stranded upon unknown shores. Fully laid out, Pathfinder Flip Mat Bigger Island measures 27 by 39 inches but folds down to a convenient and portable 8 by 10 inches for travel and storage. Its coated surface can handle any dry erase, wet erase, or even permanent marker. Usable by experienced GMs and novice alike. Pathfinder flip mats fit perfectly into any game master's arsenal. Directions for use. A special coating on each flip mat allows you to use wet erase, dry erase, and permanent markers with ease. Removing permanent ink is easy. Simply trace over the permanent marker with dry erase markers. Wait 10 seconds and then wipe off both marks with a dry cloth or paper towel. Okay, so I have often used wet and dry erase on these, though I don't use permanent. Uh, I know that that is a trick to get permanent marker off of things that you can use dry erase markers on. Uh, I still don't want to push my luck on that. Um, but yeah, so now, as you heard, this is a big map uh, that is double-sided and has an island on either side. I want to fold this out because I want you to see how huge this is because this thing is absolutely enormous. So here's one side. Look how big this thing is. It's freaking crazy. And then here is the other side. Now, while I'm talking about it, I'm going to show some pictures of some close-up details of this map on the screen. Um, so, okay. So, firstly, uh, I want to talk downsides. So, I have one downside for this, and that's kind of the nature of the beast. The thing is, obviously, they really wanted to make a much bigger flip map than usual, but they also wanted it to fit in your collection of existing flip maps. So, even though this is significantly larger than a normal flip mat, it folds down to the same size as your other flip mats to fit in your collection, which means you have some weird folds like this that are only a very small portion of the flip mat folded. Granted, if you leave it out before the game with some heavy books on it, you know, some heavy role-playing game books will do, it will weigh them all nice and flat and you'll be able to use it just fine. And again, it is a positive, in my opinion, that this folds up nice and tight into that normal 8x10 size to fit in your collection of normal flip mats. Uh, and now, as another positive, this thing is absolutely enormous. I'm going to show a picture on the screen where to show exactly how much bigger than a normal flip mat this is by putting... A, a normal flip mat over part of this um, but yeah this is huge and again so you got one side that's a rather desolate island that's just got some grasses and scrub on it and some rocks uh, there's some man-made bridges 
uh, that connects some of these these islands because there's some smaller islands around it, as well as a natural bridge made by a by a stone. Um, lots of lots of great little artistic details in the plants and rubble, uh, cliff facing stairs, etc. Um, so it's, it's it it allows each of these islands to feel different and unique, which is really cool. And then on the other side, we have a more tropical type series of islands. Again, you have a big island followed by lots of other uh, little islands around it. Instead of bridges here, we have some shallow areas with stones that you can walk across. Uh, there is a rowboat that is full of water. So it looks like someone just made it to this island right before the rowboat sunk. Uh, there's tons of little uh, uh, copses of palm trees all around on the islands. The islands are mostly just sand, except for the areas with the palm trees I must have some dirt under them and they have some little grasses growing in them. Uh, there is a statue or shrine of some kind. There is a, some sort of magical um, artifact on the largest of the islands and there is a treasure chest over there. Again, lots of great little details here. Uh, and you know what? This would have been a flip mat and pair of maps that I would have loved to have had when I was running my Sundered Skies campaign, uh, even though there's no water in the Sundered Skies, you're sailing around between floating islands. I love to get all of these various island and nautical themed uh, flip maps, usually from Paizo, uh, to use uh, in a completely different role system, because uh, that was using it for, uh, of course, again, the Sundered Skies game, which was using the Savage Worlds rule system. I, but they that used maps and miniatures. So I used to use uh, a lot of the Paizo flip mats for it, uh, but also while playing with uh, Pathfinder 2nd Edition, this is great for if you're doing any kind of seagoing campaign and you need to go to a deserted island somewhere, recovering treasure, finding an ancient artifact, or like I said, if you've been marooned there and you need to find your way off, uh, you know, and you find all these very interesting things around on your island so yeah this is a really cool flip mat and if you're looking to have a battle on an island and you're gonna need the space the space around to put all your monsters or villains or pirates in that your players are gonna fight with uh this is a great option and this is a really sizable mat i hope they do more of these bigger mats actually because i really like how big this is um i really like this i think this is a really good island i think a big part of it is because I have run a long-term game that was nautically themed with flying ships, and we used island maps like maps like this all the time. And this is better than the ones I was using back when I was running that game. So I'm I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is really awesome, even though I'm not running a game right now where I can use it. Uh, I can definitely appreciate how awesome it is based on the previous campaign that I had run uh, that was very much Sky Pirate themed. So I'm going to give the Pathfinder Flip Mat Bigger Island 8 out of 10 stars. Really like it. If you are planning to run a fantasy game campaign, Dungeons & Dragons, Savage Worlds, or Pathfinder that is going to use a lot of nautically themed stuff, this is a great map to get. Uh, in addition, if you just run a lot of games like me, variously in different universes with different rule systems and are often looking for great flip mats to add to your collection this is an awesome flip mat to add to your collection and i really like having it in mind now so again eight out of ten stars if you have any questions comments or concerns uh, on this product feel free to put them in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this review of a role-playing game product and you'd like to see me do more like it on the channel be sure to give this video a like share it on all forms of social media and if you haven't already please subscribe to the board game captain that's captain spelled a k on youtube and until next time game on